Hello everyone. Welcome back to the lecture of mass transistor operation. We will see mass transistor operation of N mass and P mass in this lecture. The objective of this mass transistor operation lecture is you are going to understand the operation of mass transistor in different regions of cutoff region, non-saturated region and saturated region. Outcomes of this lecture are you are going to know the operation of both N mass transistor and P mass transistors in three different regions of cutoff, saturation and non-saturation. The contents are we are going to see the operation of N mass enhancement and depletion transistors and P mass enhancement and depletion transistors. So, we are going to see the operation of four transistors in this lecture. Let us see the recap what we have seen in the yesterday's in the next in the previous lecture. Let us see the recap of the previous lecture where we have seen N mass and P mass transistor structures and symbols. So, this is N mass transistor structure means it is having of P substrate and N plus source and drain. P substrate N plus source and drain. Here enhancement and depletion transistors both. Enhancement means no channel, physically no channel. Electrically it has to be created. So, there is no channel here. But here channel is existing physically that is depletion transistor. Similarly, P mass transistor of enhancement type and depletion type are shown here and enhancement type is no channel and depletion type is having of physical channel at the time of the fabrication itself and for the P mass substrate is N type source and drain are P plus substrate is N type source and drain are P plus. The symbols which we have seen in the Last lecture are these related to the N mass and P mass for the enhancement and depletion. Here enhancement shows the broken line, depletion shows the shorted line. Similarly here also and here the current is going to be shown with the help of the direction that is for the N mass transistor this is the direction and for the P mass transistor this is the direction. We have seen all these in the last lecture. And along with the structure and symbol we have seen the switch model of the N mass and P mass transistors in the previous lecture. That is if we have taken N mass transistor for 0 gate voltage there is no channel in the transistor that is no electrons therefore it will act as a open switch. So for a gate of 0 volts N mass transistor is acting as open switch. And for the positive voltage of the at the gate. The channel is formed that is electrons are accumulated at the source and drain regions in middle between the source and drain at the channel region. So therefore there is a channel means it is a shorted. So therefore it is acting as a short switch for the higher gate voltage that is a positive gate voltage that is for the high value of the input. Similarly for the P mass transistor. It is acting as open switch and closed switch. It is acting as a closed switch for the low voltage and open switch for the high voltage. That means for the high positive gate voltage, the channel is absent in the P mass transistor. Therefore, no holes. So, no connection between the source and drain. So, it is acting as open. And for the negative gate voltage, the holes will be accumulated here. Then it is the form of P plus P plus join means a channel. So therefore it is acting as a short channel or a short circuit, a short switch. So this is the N mass and P mass switch behavior for the gate voltages or the input voltages. Now let us see the terminal voltages notations and representations at the gate source and drain. So, let us take a symbol of N mass. N mass transistor symbol is representing here. It is having of three terminals here, three terminal transistor only represented. One is the gate terminal, source terminal and drain terminal. Three terminals are represented 
the potential at the gate is called as vg and the potential at the source terminal is represented as vs at the drain terminal is represented as vd now the potential between gate and source is representing as vgs and between gate and drain is represented as vgd and between drain to source it is represented as vds so these voltage representations are very much required to understand the operation of the mass transistors so we have the potentials representations of gate to source vgs and vgd gate to drain and vds drain to source vgs means vg minus vs the potential at the gate minus source similarly difference of gate and drain potentials is represented as vgd and vds is nothing but difference of the potential from the drain terminal to the source terminal and this can also be represented as vgs minus vgd source and drain are here symmetric diffusion terminals that is one of the advantage of the mass transistor that is source and drain can be interchangeable because these are having of symmetric diffusion terminals by convention source terminal is at lower potential so source has to be connected at the lower potential so hence vds is greater than or equal to zero because vds is vd minus vs by convention vs is at lower potential so vds is always greater than or equal to zero and for the n mass transistor always bulk terminal body body is grounded and vs is also assumed as zero always so source is at zero and bulk is also at zero for the n mass transistor representation let's see the operation part see the operation of n mass enhancement transistor here actually in the enhancement transistor as a structure there is no channel we have to create channel electrically and then we have to allow the carriers to move from source to the destination so therefore operation is divided into two parts one is channel creation and second one is sweeping of the carriers from source to the drain two parts the operation is divided into these two parts and here channel creation depending upon the voltage of vgs that is the potential difference between gate and source and the carrier sweeping depending upon the vds and vgs both and that is drain to source terminal voltage and gate to source terminal voltage so therefore depending upon the two voltages this entire operation will happen so those two voltages can have these four different type of combinations that means both may be zero voltages or vgs is zero and vds is non zero value and vgs is non zero and vds is zero and both are non zero values so we can have the four combinations of the two different voltages depending upon these the operation is going to be defined so we will see for all these four cases how the transistor is operating whereas here in this figure vgs and vds potentials are represented vgs is nothing but the potential is applying at gate and source between the gate and source and vds is nothing but the potential which is up, up, applying at drain terminal with respect to the source terminal and it is representing as vps bulk to source already we said bulk is connected to ground always and source is also initially connected to the ground so always vbs is equal to zero only vbs is zero and vgs vds of different values we will see the operation part two parts of the operation that is channel creation and second one is sweeping of the carriers see from these two figures we can understand how the channel is creating and from which point to which point carriers are moving in the first one channel creation part let's see here initially it is starting with no connection and then connection is establishing so no connection no connection then connection is establishing that means channel is 
induced here based on the voltage of VGS. So, in this figure only VGS is applied and then in the next one both VGS and VDS are required then the carriers will move from source to the destination in this direction. So, once carriers are moving means current is flowing. If it is electrons then it is opposite of the electrons flow is current or if it is holes in the same direction current will be flow. So, we are going to see these two operation parts one is the channel creation another one is the making of the carriers flow by applying the voltages of VGS and VDS. Let us see the four cases starting with the VGS is equal to 0, VDS is equal to 0 case or VGS is 0, VDS is equal to not 0. That means when gate 2 source potential is 0 for N mass enhancement transistor. So, this is N mass transistor. So, substrate is represented as P type and source and drain are represented as N plus. Now, whenever P and N is there, this junction is represented as a diode and P and N is there, this junction is representing as diode. So, the structure is look like simply two diodes connected back to back like this. Two diodes. One end is called source, another end is called drain. And in between this, there is gate connection. So, channel is going to be created here after applying some gate potential. And body, already body is connected to ground potential. So, body is connected to the ground potential. So, then if VGS is equal to 0, VDS is equal to 0, what will happen? So, this is the gate, this is the source, this is the drain. At source, between these two, 0 is connected, means source is connected to the ground, it is 0 and VDS is also 0. So, here also we have connected as 0. Now, 0 is bulk. So, 0 potential, 0 potential, 0 potential. That means, 0 is there and 0 is there and 0 voltage is there. Now, what will happen? Since 0, 0, both are equal potentials. It is not the forward bias nor the reverse bias. Simply two back to back diodes with connection of an open connection. So, therefore, it is just open. No channel creation. And source and drain junctions are diodes are also in the open connection. Then suppose gate 2 source is 0, but VDS is a non zero. Means at this terminal you are applying non zero value. Let us assume some positive value instead of 0, positive is applied. Now what will happen? Positive is connected at the diode of cathode. At the anode, 0 is connected. Now what will happen? So, because of this, it will act as reverse bias. So, because of reverse bias, even the two back to back diodes connected and some potential difference is there between two ends of the drain and source. Because of this is open, there is no connection, no current. So, this is also reverse bias diode stops the conduction path between two terminals of drain and source, therefore no current. So, in this case, this is also as acting as open. In these two cases, because of absence of the channel, there is no channel, no carrier flow, current is equal to 0. Current here, it is representing as IDS. We will see that IDS in the next lecture. So, current is equal to 0. This is the first case. With VGS is 0, VDS is 0. And VGS is 0, VDS is non zero. For these two cases, the N mass transistor is acting as open circuit. There is no conduction and no current flow for these two cases. Let us see the third case that is VGS is non zero and VDS is equal to zero. Here something is going to be happen as we already said when VGS is non zero, channel is creating. So, channel will be created. So, for that, the channel is created with the help of three regions of operation. Means, it is undergoing to the three regions that is accumulation, depletion and inversion. And at the inversion mode, it will have the final channel. 
So let's see accumulation, depletion and inversion based on the values of the VGS, how the channel is forming. Here accumulation region forms when VGS is less than VT and depletion is forming 0 to VGS to VT and inversion is happening when VGS is greater than VT or in general we can say like this also that is when VGS is less than 0 and when VGS is equal to 0 and VGS is greater than 0 we can tell in general for the n mass transistor of VGS values. Where here we mentioned VT, VT is nothing but threshold voltage. VT is threshold voltage. Threshold voltage is a voltage which is applied at the gate potential and that too it is a minimum potential below which the current is equal to zero in the transistor. So, this threshold voltage is represented as either Vt or Vth and if it is n mass transistor it will be represented as Vtn, if it is a p mass transistor it will be represented as Vtp. For the n mass transistors it will be generally positive, small positive voltage and for the p mass transistors it is small negative voltage. What is the threshold voltage? Threshold voltage is the minimum gate voltage below which the current is equal to zero in the transistor. Means below which there is no channel in the transistor. We will see in detail of this VTH or VT in the next lectures. So we are seeing the channel creation now depending upon applying the VGS value and VGS is depending upon the VGS variation the transistor is undergoing through the three modes of operation, one is accumulation, depletion and inversion regions. Let's see all these in detail. Accumulation region, depletion region, inversion region. Accumulation region, just here the gate structure between source and drain, whatever the gate structure is there, that is drawn separately. So this is our mass structure representation actual mass structure this is the source drain and gate now in this figure just the middle part is represented this part because channel is creating between the source to drain under the gate region so under the gate region including this gate oxide this region this area is redrawn here so this is the metal gate, this is the gate area, this is the SiO2 and then this is the substrate part. So polysilicon gate, silicon dioxide that is SiO2 and then P type substrate. Just this part is extracted and represented here. And if it is a P type, it is having a majority of holes. Those holes are represented with plus. And now let us take the first condition. Vg is less than 0 or Vg is less than Vt. So, Vg is less than 0 means what? It is a negative voltage. Negative. If I applied a negative on the one plate of the gate, that means it is acting as a capacitor, parallel plate capacitor. Because this is the polysilicon gate and this is the substrate in middle oxide is there, insulator is there. So therefore one plate of the capacitor, second plate of the capacitor and in middle oxide is there. So it is acting as a parallel plate capacitor. Now over one plate if negative voltage is applied then what will happen? Whatever the positive charge appearing on the other plate is attracted towards the channel. So it is fully packed with the channel area is fully packed with positive charge. Then if I changed the gate potential and applied a small positive voltage which is less than of Vt. Small positive, small positive and that too that is less than of Vt volts. Assume if the Vt is 1 volt, we are applying here as some 0.5 volts, 0.3 volts and etc. 
A small positive is applied, what will happen? Positive charge is appearing on the top plate of the capacitor or the gate plate of the transistor. Then what will happen since positive is applied, so here positive is applied, this positive and positive will be repelled. Therefore, positive, whatever the previous positive charge is there or positive ion is there, that will be repelled. So, therefore, some space is vacated here with the positive charge. The space is vacated with the positive charge. Therefore, it is called as depletion region. So, the channel area is depleted with the positive carriers or positive charge. Therefore, it is called as depletion region. Now, apply more positive value or the voltage greater than Vt value. So, it is greater than of Vt and more positive more positive means if the threshold voltage is 1 volt we can apply starting from the 1 and it can be greater than of 1 so assume that if it is taking as some 2 volts or 3 volts now what will happen because of applying the more positive on the gate plate then what will happen earlier the depletion region is there now in this depletion region whatever the minority carriers exist in the region of the substrate those will be attracted towards the depleted region so negative ions or negative charge which is existing negative carriers which are present in the p substrate are attracted towards the channel area or towards the surface of sio2 where already depletion is happened with the positive charge so what will happen initially this is the p type of the substrate it is fully accumulated with the positive charge then that positive is depleted and then what will happen in that depletion region negative charge appears so because of this this is the negative carriers placed like this so then besides this there is a source part and besides this there is a drain part source and the drain for the n mass transistor are what n plus and n plus so n plus is source and n plus drain are actually with the negative so negative and this negative and this is a negative total will be connected so like this whatever the positive is there that is inverted as a negative and it is used to connect the source and the drain on the both ends of this channel part like this channel is created based on the VGS value, the potential which is applying at the gate are the difference of the source gate and source. We can call this as a VG or simply VGS. Why? Because anyway, VS is connected to the ground, source is connected to the ground. So, VG or VGS both are same if source is connected to the ground. Let us see the same through this animation part. Initially, no channel. Then, after applying the voltages of different voltages at Vg, here the part is changing. So, here input voltage first it is taken as less than Vth and equal to Vth and greater than Vth and far far greater than Vth. When less than Vth, when less than Vth, no value, no channel, and if it is slightly increasing, greater than Vth more negative is accumulated here so this region whatever the p type of the region is there this is inversed with the negative therefore the connection is established between this negative this negative using the n channel so n plus source n plus drain is connected with the n channel it is called as n channel if the channel is created with electrons or negative charge it is called as n channel so finally after having these accumulation depletion and inversion these three modes the transistor is having of a channel with the channel that can be represented like this so vgs is not is equal to 0 vds is equal to 0 for this case the channel is created the transistor will be look like this. There is no movement of electrons, no movement of carriers, but there is a connection path existing between source and drain. 
let's see now apply the vds with the different values and what will happen here how the carriers are moving we will see that is the second part of the operation now depending upon the vds values there are two regions of operation so by having the sweeping of the carriers we can define transistor operation into two regions on whole the transistor operation is defined as a three regions of operation one is cut off region one is non saturation or linear region and another one is saturation region so cut off means vgs vds both are zeros and vgs is equal to zero vds may not be equal to zero then also the current is zero means cut off region is nothing but it is a region where current is equal to zero and these two are the regions where the carriers are moving so current is not is equal to zero cases so for these two regions vgs which we have already seen in the third case that is vgs should be greater than of vt vgs should be greater than of vt that means the transistor should be in the inversion mode for the channel creation so channel is created then vds value it is less than of vgs minus vt is non saturation region here vds is greater than or equal to vgs minus vt these are the conditions for the non saturation region and saturation region for the voltages of vds and vgs values here vgs minus vt is telling as effective gate voltage effective gate voltage means we are applying a voltage at gate but that voltage will be effective after it crosses the vt only that means threshold voltage only so directly we are taking effective gate voltage for the taking of vds range for having of carrier sweeping that is nothing but for the non saturation and saturation regions so let us see these three regions operation one by one with the help of the figures first one when both voltages are zero and when vg is zero vd is non zero also the same case appears because of the reverse bias of the diode there is open connection which we have seen already so in this case there is no channel therefore current is equal to zero that we will see here since it is equal to zero the gate potential zero the drain potential zero there is no channel that means it is fully accumulated with the positive charge and n plus is negative here n plus is negative negative positive and negative it is open connection there is no short connection to move the carriers also that's why the current is equal to zero the current will be represented as zero in this case so this is representing as cut off region cut off region cut off region the voltage conditions for vgs and vds are these and current is equal to zero now second region that is non saturation region here vds value and vgs value both are non zeros and the condition for vgs vgs should be greater than vt vgs should be greater than vt and vds is less than of vgs minus vt for that condition this non saturation is appearing for that we are starting here two figures are representing with initially vds is equal to zero and then vds is less than of vgs minus vt since vgs is greater than vt channel is formed and vds is equal to zero there is no moment of carriers just channel will be formed so channel formation is representing here like this so n plus source n plus drain and these are joined with the channel when vgs is greater than vt and vds is equal to zero there is no carriers flow now after applying the vds as a positive that is till it is defining as less than vgs minus vt the carriers will move carriers are moving in the 
channel and these are representing like this. See, whenever positive is applied at the drain potential, what will happen? The drain here already we have seen it is a diode connection representation like this. There is one junction that is N plus and P base. So at the N plus means at the cathode part, at the negative part of the diode, we are connecting positive voltage. Then what will happen? Here, reverse bias is increasing. So therefore, at this drain end, depletion region is going to be increased. So because of depletion region is increasing, the actual perfect channel shape as rectangle, here that is changed to somewhat in the direct in the drain side, the channel is reducing due to the positive potential applying at the drain terminal. Now the channel shape is like this. At the source end more width of the channel is there. But at the drain end it is reduced because of increasing in the depletion region. So but still there is a connection path and positive is applied here. Therefore electrons will move towards the positive potential because the electrons will attract the attracted towards the positive potential. So carriers will move like this, electrons will move like this. Then if carriers are moving like this means current will be flowing in this direction. This is the current direction. So carriers are moving from source to drain and whereas current is representing from drain to source. So this arrow is representing the current direction in this graph. Current direction and electron move. Electron movement starts and current will be flowing. At the drain end, channel is reducing. Channel height is reducing when compared to the source end. So this is the non-saturation region. What is a non-saturation? Non-saturation is nothing but VDS is taking as less than of VGS minus VT and VGS is greater than of VT case. Then channel is already created because of VGS greater than VT. So channel forms. Therefore, because of applying the positive potential at the one terminal that is at the drain, current flows because of a carrier's movement. Current flows here drain to source because electrons are moving from source to drain. And here the current increases with, that means number of carriers flow is increases with increasing in the VDS. So IDS is depending upon the VDS value. And it is representing or it is similar to the linear resistor because when V is increasing, I is increasing. Therefore, it is acting as linear resistor in the non-saturation region. Let us see the saturation region, the next region. Saturation region cases also both are non-zero values of VGS and VDS. And now VGS is greater than of VT. VDS value is greater than or equal to VGS minus VT. Here equal to point is called as starting point of the saturation region. And whenever it is greater than, then it is in the saturation region. Means more positive we are applying at the drain terminal. More positive voltage. So if more positive is applied at the drain terminal, what will happen to the previous figure? So already because of some positive potential here, the channel height is reduced at the drain end when compared to the source end in the previous non-saturation region itself. Now because of applying the more positive, it is more more positive. Then what will happen because of the diode structure and at the negative terminal we are applying the more positive. So therefore it will be depletion region is increasing. So because of the depletion region is increasing the channel width is reduced. So the channel shape now it is becoming as like this. Means at the drain end the channel is decreasing. The channel is decreasing. And the, at one point, channel will be pinched off also. At one point, channel will be pinched off. That means it is disconnected from the source end. It will move towards the 
source part. Because of applying the more positive voltage at the drain terminal, channel is reducing at the drain end and it can be pinched off and it is moving towards the source. But still there is current flow. That current flow is maximum current. And even though the channel is pinched off, the current is moving because of drifting action of the electrons. Because of drifting of electrons, the current will flow in the non in the saturation region if maximum VDS is applied. So after one point of VDS, even though if you are applying the VDS, but current is constant. Current is constant and it is of maximum value. Maximum value. So that means in this the channel pinches off that means channel is shrinking and channel is moving towards the source and id is depend independent of vds because after a channel is pinching off after crossing one value of vds the current is a maximum and the current is constant that means therefore we can tell the ids is independent of vds and we can say that the current saturates that is the maximum value the current saturates that is the maximum value therefore whenever the current is constant and it is having uh, some maximum value continuously producing means it can be act as a current source so therefore in the saturation region mass transistor can be called as constant current source constant current source so in the what is the saturation region Saturation region means these are the voltage conditions. If more positive is applying, channel is pinched off, but still there is a current flow that is due to the drifting action of the electrons. Therefore, that current is maximum and that current is constant. So, we can call that current is independent of VDS and since that current is constant, we can call that as current source also. Means in saturation region, mass transistor can be used as constant current source. Let us see the summary of all these regions of operation of NMAS enhancement transistor. First, VGS non-zero and VDS is equal to zero. The two, VGS we are taking as less than VTH, less than VTH then what will happen in the enhancement region there is no channel no channel since there is no channel here in this figure green and green is representing for the n plus and this yellow is representing for the depletion region so this the source and the drain are disconnected from one to another therefore it is nothing but no channel case so this is a cut off region then after starting of applying of a voltage at the gate that is greater than of VTH and VDS also equal to 0 or slightly greater than of 0. First, because of applying the VGS greater than VTH, channel is formed. Now, the channel is representing like this with the blue color part. Now, N plus and N plus are connected with this channel. Now, electrons will move after applying the more potential at the VDS. So, here VDS is taking as equal to VGS minus VTH and VDS is taking as greater than of VGS minus VTH. So, this is equal to actually non-saturation region here because VDS is greater than 0 and here these two are representing as saturation regions. In the non-saturation region, this VDS is less than of VGS minus VTH and it is greater than of 0. Then what will happen? Channel shape will be like this and electrons will move. And then if VDS is increasing, channel is reducing at the drain end because of increasing the more depletion region. And then still if VDS is increasing, channel is shrinking off. So we can clearly observe here. The channel is exactly rectangle shape. The channel is changed to some small triangle and that still triangle is reduced. So here at the drain end it is connected but at the drain end this blue color is not there. That means channel is disconnected. But still channel is disconnected 
because of the drifting action electrons will move from or electrons will jump from this channel to the drain because the more potential is supplied at the drain terminal this is the starting point of the saturation and this is the saturation region final so therefore here the current is constant here current varies depending upon the vds here also some water current is stopping here making the maximum and then current is still constant and it is maximum so cut off region non saturation region saturation regions from these figures we can understand the complete operation in this slide in now let us represent the current current in these three regions how it is representing as current versus voltage see the first one vgs is greater than vn and vds is less than of vd sat means in the non saturation region when the transistor is in the non saturation region the channel shape is like this that means same at the both source and the drain potentials therefore it is acting as a linear resistor therefore the current is following the linear relation the current is following the linear relation whereas whenever vd sat is increasing vds is increasing then what will happen channel is pinching off therefore channel is pinching off means it is changing its shape the current is making the not linear relation it is changing into like this so after linear resistance it is reaching to a maximum value at is e at vds is equal to vd sat then what will happen since still vds is increasing and it is greater than of vds sat the channel is still reduced still it is pinched off so the current is whatever the current is maintaining here that will be maintaining as a constant so therefore it is reaching one maximum point and it will be continue till further even though if you are increasing vds continuously at the drain potential so non saturation region current saturation starting point the current is making a maximum and that maximum current will be maintained during the next saturation region so in this saturation region so this region is called as saturation and this region is called as non saturation in the non saturation region current is available but in saturation region current is constant you can see that current equations in these two graphs so these two graphs this graph we have seen already in the linear region current is varying that means for the smaller vds values this is equal to vds and this is equal to vds starting the current follows the linear relation with respect to the vds and it is increasing still it is reaching to the maximum point of saturating voltage so here saturation region is representing like this so these are the saturating points saturating point saturation region once reached then current is equal to constant so constant line constant line constant line until that current is going to be increased current is starting from zero and it is increasing till it is reaching the saturation region and it stops and it maintains the same value in the saturation region here these different graphs are showing for the different values of gate to source potentials different vgs 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 is plus 1 plus 1.5 plus 2 and plus 2.5 when vgs is increased channel height is increased therefore more number of carriers will be moving so when vgs is increased what will happen to the current that is representing here vgs and ids so when vgs is increasing current will be increased when vgs is increasing current will be increased so current if we tell in terms of vgs and vds current depending upon the both voltages vgs and vds in the non saturation it depending upon because this is the non sat region and in this it is acting as a resistor so it is representing as a resistive also so in this it is function of both vgs and vds if vds is increasing current is increasing and for the different vgs values current is increased but in saturation region the current is constant with respect to the vds even though vds is changed current is not changed constant but it varies depending upon the vgs so in saturation it is function of vgs not the function of vds 
that is represented with the help of these expressions. In cutoff region, current is equal to zero, and in non saturation region, current is function of both voltages that is VGS and VDS. The current equation depending upon both values of voltages VDS and VGS. But whereas in the saturation region, current is function of VGS only, there is no VDS in the equation. So, in the saturation, the current is independent of the VDS. We will derive these current equations in the next lecture. So, what is the conclusion? Non saturation region, saturation region, cutoff region. Cutoff region current is 0. In the non saturation region, current varies and depending upon the VGS and VDS values. And in the saturation region, current depending upon the VGS, not on the VDS. That is represented here in the graphs. These two figures are representing the graphical representation. This is mathematical representation of the currents in the transistor where these are describing the operation of the mass transistor. For the N mass transistor, the voltages cut off VGS is less than VTN and for linear means non-saturation it is greater than VTN and VDSN is less than of VGS minus VTN and for the saturation both should be greater than and this also should be greater than or equal to. These are the voltage values which are required for defining the three regions of operation of the P N mass enhancement transistor. Whereas let us see the same conditions for the P mass enhancement operation. P mass enhancement transistor operation is also same as N mass enhancement transistor operation but with a small variation that is nothing but because of the structural change the potentials have to be applied with opposite polarity that's enough that is so VGSP should greater than of VTP and here just let see observe these values are changed those relations are changed in the N mass it is less than but here it is greater than so because of the negative potential opposite polarities opposite polarity voltages are required and here P channel characteristics are represented in the negative domain only minus VDS and minus IDS. The current is negative and voltages are also negative. So, current is it is following the same relation in the saturation till the saturation the current is changing. So, this is a non saturation and this region is saturation whereas current is constant. In the saturation current constant, in the non saturation current is variable and in the non saturation current is function of VGS and VDS both in the saturation current is function of VDS only. Let us understand the operation of PMAS transistor using this video. First see the basic construction, substrate, source and drain and gate structures. Substrate is of N type source and drainer of P type. Then because it is enhancement no channel initially, we have to create the channel first, then sweeping of the carriers. For creating the channel, VGS is applied. So, gate potential is required. Before applying the gate potential, if we apply any VDS, there is no current because of the no connection between source and drain. Even though there is some potential that is at a drain and source, but there is no current. Now, let us apply the voltage at gate and drain. Then what will happen? Because of applying the potential at the gate, then channel will be created. So, first channel will be created here. Then through that channel, current carriers will be transferred. Because of applying the potential here negative, then what will happen? Whatever the positive minority carriers are existing in the end substrate, those will be attracted towards the channel surface. So, it is negative positive and because of N, positive carriers are attracting means inversion region. Because of the inversion, channel is created. Now, there is a path for flowing of the carriers from source to the drain. Now, depending upon the applying voltage of the drain potential, the number of carriers will flow 
देर फॉर द मैग्निट्यूड ऑफ करंट विल डिफाइंड सो बेस्ड ऑन द ड्रेन पोटेंशियल कैरियर विल फ्लो लाइक दिस when drain potential is increasing what will happen the at the drain side depletion region is increased because of that channel starts pinching off so because of channel starts pinching off what will happen here the number of carriers flow is making the constant so that current is making the maximum now because of that transistor is acting as the constant current source constant current source because of constant amount of carriers moving and current is making the constant so see here channel is pinching off channel is moving but current still it is there because of the drifting action and the current is constant so it is behaving as constant current source so the difference between p mass and n mass is nothing but in the n mass we have applied here gate and drain potential sir as positive but here we have to apply at the gate and at the drain the negative potential we have to apply that means the gate and drain potential polarities have to be changed then as per the negative potential supplying the mining conditions are all, as it is same that is cut off region the non saturation region and saturation region and in the non saturation the current varies and it depending upon the vgs and vds both and in the saturation region the current constant and it depending upon the the value of vgs only not on the drain potential so this is the p mass enhancement transistor operation which we have seen this is the non saturation region and it is the saturation region function of vgs vds here and it is function of only vgs and current is maximum and current is a negative and the polarities we are applying are voltages are negative polarities till now we have seen enhancement of n mass and enhancement of p mass transistor operations now come to the depletion transistor operation depletion transistor means enhancement transistor operation and depletion transistor operation both are same except first step that is here two steps channel creation and sweeping of the carriers whereas in the depletion inbuilt channel is there inbuilt channel will exist physically therefore this first step is not required in the depletion transistor only sweeping of the carriers step is required means sweeping of carriers only required for the operation part of the depletion transistors whatever the operations we have seen till now in the first channel creation operation is not there that is accumulation depletion and inversion regions are not existing in this depletion mode operations just non saturation saturation and cut off regions will exist in the depletion mode transistor operations the summary of enhancement depletion n mass depletion and p mass depletion channel operations are represented here so just depletion transistors of both the depletion means the channel is existing physically so the first step already ready medially there then we are understanding the operation of the currents currents are also same that is positive potentials are required for the n mass negative potentials are required for the p mass current is positive here current is negative here the same characteristics which we have seen for the enhancement transistors the same are existing here also with a small change that is when vgs is equal to 0 there is no current for the n mass enhancement and p mass enhancement in the enhancement transistors whereas here for zero also there is conduction because physical channel is there therefore for zero also some conduction will existing now if you want to increase conduction the potential at the gate it has to be increased if you want to decrease the conduction the potential has to be decreased similarly if you want to increase and if you want to decrease the type of the potentials required for the p mass depletion mode transistor p mass enhancement mode transistor and p mass depletion mode transistor operations till now we have seen four transistor operations just check this quiz to make the uh, to get the clarity of understanding first 
the current IDS dash as VDS increases. What will happen? IDS increases or decreases. We said already in the non-saturation region, the current is increasing. So, it increases with respect to the VDS. And then MOSFET is used as, in the saturation region, MOSFET is used as current source, constant current source. See the next question. The mass transistor is non-conducting when it is default. Whenever if it is not mentioned as enhancement or depletion, it is taking as enhancement transistor. So it is non-conducting when zero gate bias is there. When VGS is zero, it is not conducting. And in the resistive region, means in the non-saturation region, what is the relation between VDS and VGS minus VT? So resistive means non-saturation region. Non-saturation is nothing but VDS is lesser than the VGS minus VT. So, I hope you have understood the operation part. So, let us take these as the assignment questions and solve these assignment questions and write these assignment questions. Follow these two textbooks for the operation part. One is Pucknell textbook and another one is Neil Vestia textbook. So, just follow these two for the operation understandings. The summary of this lecture is, till now what we have seen, we have seen N-mass transistor operation and P-mass transistor operation. In the N-mass transistor, we have seen enhancement transistor and depletion transistor and in the P-mass also we have seen enhancement transistor and a depletion transistor. And we have seen the operation, operation of these transistors as construction wise and mathematical equation wise and the graphical representation wise. I hope you understood the operation of mass transistors. We will see the mathematical derivation of currents in the next class. Thank you.